I'm here to talk about the brand new firmware update for the Make Noise Phonogene. This update includes three main improvements, better sound quality and various speed response, a new trigger output, and a new record mode, Brecken Echo. The overall sound quality has been improved with a decrease in aliasing. Quite unpredictable patterns. Additionally, the response to the VeriSpeed control has been tweaked to be faster, with a more reliable stopping point. Quite unpredictable. The end of splice trigger output now also outputs a trigger at the end of every gene when the gene size is smaller than the whole splice. For example, here it is stepping through a sequence on Rene at the end of the splice. Before, changing the gene size would also have caused the trigger to stop firing. Now it continues to fire at the end of each gene. There's also a new broken echo mode that allows the record head to stay active infinitely, recording new material over old loops. To engage this mode, make sure you have a loop recorded already, even if it is an empty one. If there is a loop active and Vera speed is not at zero, you will see the end of splice LED blink periodically. Make sure gene size is set to zero and hold the record button until the end of splice LED lights. Now the record LED will stay on and the photogene will continue to record until we disengage it. I'm here in the October Gallery with I'm the here first in the October exhibition gallery. in England of William Burroughs' painting, gallery. and I'm Mr. Burroughs' painting, and, 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 and I want to start asking you about, and I want to start asking you, is this a recent development in your work, or have you done work like this, or simultaneously with your writing, or simultaneously with your writing? I started doing a montage, I started doing a montage in the 90s, Air speed and gene controls are fully active once broken echoes are engaged. So it's not a new development in that sense, but, uh, but what you see here is a new development dating back from 282, 1982. In um, a certain area. Any granular explorations will also be recorded into the loop. You and some of the smaller works. Um, you talked a lot about the methods of cut up and the folding method and other methods. Um, is the montage that you're doing with the pictures, you design, is just the procedure resemble some of the methods? It does very definitely cut up and introduce into writing a random factor, a of a system factor, and uh, here we have, uh, in some cases, a uh, blast of a shotgun that was exploding a color, either hitting a tube of paint or a, uh, paint or a can of a spray paint, can of color, of color, of color, of color, quite unpredictable. This is not such a new thing in painting. 